Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video. Today I am finally doing something that has needed done on the WRX for a while now. For the last few months I've been wanting to do it and just haven't pulled the trigger. The car is at 30,000 miles now and the brakes are toast. Now I've not been super easy on this car. I've taken it to the track. I've had fun on the, on the back roads. I've had fun out on the highway. And so anywhere I've gone, you know, I've been using the brakes. And so 30,000 miles, pretty good. Factory brakes have held up great but it's time to swap them out. I have a 20 hour road trip coming up and I can't afford to, if for some reason I need to, need to stop. I'm gonna have a car full of stuff. I'm gonna have a dog in the back seat. And the last thing I want is for, I, I need to be able to stop if I need to. I'm gonna upgrade the brakes, put new brakes all around. I have the DBA slotted rotors, the Street Series, and then I have the uh, Hulk 5.0 pads. So we're gonna swap out the factory stuff, put those in, it should be a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, just swapping out the rotors and pads. So all we gotta do is take the calipers off, uh, press the calipers back in, put the pads on, put the rotors on, put it all back together. Let's jump into it. So here's the new uh, 5.0 pads as well as the new DBA rotors. Gonna open up one of these so you can see what it looks like here in person. There we go. That looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Moving back to Pennsylvania, this is gonna be the last time I get to have the Purple Thunder Mountain Dew. I do not have Circle K's in Pennsylvania. We have sheets and rudders. In all honesty, it's not really that good anyway. All right, I'm gonna to have to lift these up just a smidge. They're making a lot of noise. You can see hot spots on the rotor. The lip on the outer side of the rotor is getting pretty bad and the pad is really low. Uh, the backs aren't quite as bad, but I'm gonna do the whole set front and rear. So this is the 2020 WRX with the performance package. I know there's been quite a few people asking in the forums and stuff uh, what brakes you run because of the Brembos. So if you have a 2020 with the performance package and you have the Brembo brakes, these are the same Brembos from 08 to 2017. So you're gonna wanna buy 08 to 2017 uh, pads and 08 to 2017 uh, rotors for your WRX. So you'll get the 08 to 17 brake rotors, from the SCI and the pads from the SCI. There's two pins on the back here. We're gonna pull these pins out. So we're gonna pull these two safety clips out that hold in your pins. Okay, so now we can punch out these pins. This is a three millimeter punch. So we'll tap that pin through there. We'll come to the bottom pin and we'll tap that through there. Then we can go on the back side where those pins came out and we can grab them and pull them out. That's gonna pop this spring clip out, so just be wary of that. Slide this pin through the back. You can leave these pins in place on the caliper if you want to. I can loosen up the bolts on the caliper. Now, you don't necessarily wanna let this hang by the brake line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sit this up here for right this second. That'll work. All right, so now I have this threaded bolt. I'm gonna try and use that to just, yeah, that's fun. Uh, I don't know what size this is. I'm assuming M10, maybe 1.5 but looks like that did the trick because the hammer was not doing it. All right, so now we got the new rotors. We're just gonna spray them down with some brake clean, wipe them down real good. All right, we got the new rotor. Gonna line these holes up. Slide that bad boy on there. I couldn't have picked a more hot and muggy day to do this. Now all we're gonna do is try to slide our pads in there, and that should be pretty simple. We're gonna put a little bit of that red grease on the back side of the pad, slide them both in, and then we will reinstall our pins and our 
uh, our clips. So should be pretty straightforward with some high temp grease, which is good because I thought I was gonna have to order some from Brembo, but thankfully these came with it. You don't need a whole lot. We're just gonna put a little bit on the back side. So now we have this, we're just gonna spread this grease around. Yeah. Set this back on top and we will start to slide our pins through. Push this down and slide the pin through. We're gonna tap the pins. I'm running out of time here on my lunch break and I only got one of them done. So uh, I'm gonna quickly just go around, get them all thrown on the car. Uh, they're all gonna apply the exact same way as you just saw here. Uh, sorry, I didn't really intend on this being a how-to video, just kind of like a vlog. So uh, if it's a little patchy, I'm sorry. All right, guys, I'm really sorry. I didn't get to record all of that, but it's, yeah, it took me like an hour to do all four brakes, which to me just feels like a long, long time. Uh, might have actually been like an hour and a half even. Uh, it's just tricky. The pads were so low. I really had to compress the calipers to get the, you know, push the pistons in to get the new pads in. And it was, it was fun. All my rotors were seized, so I had to use the bolt to push them all, pull them all off. Uh, it's just been fun, but the new brakes look great. Hopefully they function as good as they look, but I'm gonna put all my wheels back on now. And then later on this afternoon, after I get off work, actually, I'll probably wait till tonight when there's no one out on the road or less people out on the road. We'll go out, we'll bed them in, do some hard stops, do whatever we gotta do. Whatever they call for the braking procedure, we'll figure that out. We'll go get that done and shouldn't be too bad, so. Uh, I'm gonna throw all my wheels back on and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So right here I have the bed-in procedure for the brakes per Hawk Performance. So it says here to make 10 stops from approximately 30 to 35 miles an hour applying moderate pressure and then make two to three hard stops uh, going 40 to 45. So couple of moderate stops, two to three hard stops, and then we're gonna drive around for like 15 minutes without trying to avoid using the brakes to let them cool down. It is really freaking hot out. This actually might be the first time I ever used this camera on low light conditions, so I don't know how it looks right now, but uh, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But I am going to bed in the brakes, so I'm gonna hit the highway. I am gonna put the hazards on just to be safe. So again, 10 stops from 30 to 35, applying moderate pressure. So we will speed down to, this is always so sketchy. So now we're going 30. There's one. There's two. There's three, but of course I had like 10 people rolling up on me as I was trying to do that. So I think I got it done right. I don't know. I think we did okay. I didn't make a complete stop. So I don't know, but we should be okay. Well guys, it's the next morning. I bed the brakes in last night and then I was very gentle on them the whole way home. I uh, let the car sit overnight. Now today, dr driving to work, I exercised them a little bit and they feel great. Uh, I put the pedal down about 10% and that's the hardest I ever have to push them to stop. I've done a couple like moderate stops, a couple like light stops and two or three like more heavy stops. I haven't like jammed on them yet, but I have done, you know, everything that I need to do to, to feel out the brakes and they definitely feel great. Um, very impressed with them. It's a very solid pedal feel. Like there's, there's no softness at all to the pedal. It's very stiff, which I like, and it works very well. The brakes feel great. I don't have any noise uh, so far. No squealing, no grinding, no nothing weird. I'm super happy with them. They're not touchy at all. They're actually nice and solid and firm and uh, they feel great. I don't like super touchy brakes where, you know, the pedal goes down a quarter of the way and like the car slams to a stop. Um, 
these feel great. They feel really great. But anyways, guys, this has been an upgrade that I've needed for a while. Uh, I've needed new brakes regardless, but I might as well upgrade them to something. The OEM brakes are so expensive that it just makes sense to upgrade them after they wear out. So super happy with the setup. I think it's going to be good in the long run uh, because I do drive the car spiritedly. I like to have fun with it. So it is nice to know that I have nice strong brakes on the car if I ever need them. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I will see you here again soon when we make the trip back home. It's going to be a long 20 hours, and hopefully the car doesn't have any hiccups and we make it there just fine. I've been driving the car every day with knock on wood with no problems for a couple months now. So we should be okay, but you never know till happens so uh, I'll keep you guys updated and I'll see you again soon